we are in a way already too late. Dr. Klaus Lackner is referring to the latest report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. He's the director of the Center for Negative Carbon Emissions at ASU. His latest research project, reduce the amount of carbon in our atmosphere. The most straightforward and direct way is to pull CO2 back out of the air. Now a growing tree does that, and we aspire to do the same thing. And we can do it at a scale which is much faster than a tree. Lackner says the type of carbon dioxide collector his facility builds collects about a thousand times more CO2 per day than a real tree. While the technology in Dr. Lackner's facility is still in its research stage, there are always risks that come with this type of research. If things start from a laboratory scale and get huge, there's always something you are likely to have overlooked. On the other hand, I think the risk of not doing something is much, much, much higher. With risk being a factor in this technology, some say without it, losses in Arizona could be huge. When we look at the temperature increases that we're talking about, potentially by 2070, maybe even before that, Arizona becomes uninhabitable. Burns says finding a solution is critical to our ecosystems. These ecosystems will not be able to support humans in the future. Lackner says there isn't an immediate solution to this crisis, but awareness is ultimately key. Every carbon you put out has to be taken back, right? For every ton of carbon coming out of the ground, another ton has to go back, right? That awareness is ultimately critical.